Aravinda's got, got enough talent and enough experience to be able to get through the early part of his innings. If he can do that, then they might be in danger of seeing number 13 under the hundreds column there. And that's nicely timed by De Silva. He's not tried to hit it too hard, but he's found the gap on the offside. And will pick up three runs comfortably. This is driven handsomely through the You cannot keep this over quiet for long that time, Prasad. Right shot. That's four. And that's the trouble when you come in after lunch. Not quite loose. And uh, to a player of this quality, anything short is milk and honey. Aravinda very quickly into position. There's no one on the leg side. Very safe shot right inside it, rolling the wrists. Four runs. You can't get away bowling balls like that to Aravinda de Silva. He quickly latches on. To and again, too short. You really have to be very precise where you pitch the ball to Aravinda de Silva. Very similar in that way to Jaya Saria. Anything short is just absolutely punished. And again, Mahanti just paying the penalty. Even though this is wide outside off stump, Aravinda is so far back and across. Saw it so early. Just a beautiful shot. And there it is again. Three times now we've seen that. With absolutely no effort whatsoever. And that was only marginally short. One strike here to Prasad. Goes for the drive in the air, but he's hammered it in the gap as well. Really launched himself into that one. On that occasion, Prasad giving some room, and Arvind De Silva, who've been very watchful since lunch, latching onto that one and going over the infield follow of the bat, going under it, and brings him four runs. Yes, he went through with a the shot there, no half measures. Up in the slot, and he told the bowler, take that. And again, this time off the back foot, an even better shot. He's cutting loose here. Again, two shots of a quality player. So this wicket coming on well for the batting and the bowling as well. It's easy to play shots. Batsmen enjoy batting on surfaces like this. Arvind Distilla in particular likes the ball. players left in the Sri Lanka batting. No problem in dispatching that. He's so good with that shot. He picks up the lens so very quickly. And yet another boundary to end the over. 153 for three. This time it's pitched up and he drives through the onside. It may also boundary. Fairly well hit, wasn't perfectly timed, but just fast enough to beat Sidhu into the boundary. You don't have... This time he gets it through the gap, perhaps not quite so convincing, but it's the third boundary of the over, and that's what he can do to you. Oh, that'll be killed. You can't bowl like that to Aravinda de Silva. That was a rank long hop. Kuravilla wouldn't have been trying to do that. He may have tried a bouncer, but it really finished up a half tracker, and that's 16 from the over, 174 for three. Well, that was one of his spells, I beg your pardon. He bowled nine overs as he goes for four here. He bowled nine overs in the test match last week at Premadasa for 53, so he copped a bit of stick need to bowl a little bit better there so this is not such a positive start for him this time he works it away past mid on that's a fine shot 
You've really got to appreciate how good a shot that is. Ganguly's not overly quick. But that ball wasn't all that short. And again, Aravinda gets up on the toes, gets up above the ball, gets his hands above the ball so he can get a bit of top spin and roll the, the hands over it. That's a fine shot. Well, that was hit in the air. Probably an attempt at a slower ball, which... Aravinda had to wait for. He still hit the ball in the air, but he just waited long enough and made sure he hit it in the gap. It's a bad ball. Mongia hasn't been able to get over to it either. I think you'll find that's Byers. Oh, this time he's played it well on the onside. <laughs> and a misunderstanding between the two, costing the Indians a boundary there. There was a man in the deep at square leg, and Sidhu was running in from mid-on. And the problem was that each one thought that the other one would stop it. Have a look at it. Sidhu's over enthusiasm running into difficulties that time. <laughs> Sidhu, a lot of commitment and effort, chasing it away and <laughs> avoiding... <laughs> hitting each other the ball going through to the boundary and that's a boundary for him again to third man it's certainly one is going to look at the offside and good footwork, lovely balance. That. And driven gloriously through the offside to bring up 100 number 13 for Arvinda De Silva. A real classic cover drive to bring up his 100. A shot of a champion that time by De Silva bringing his 100. Just leaning onto that open delivery and that's... Um, Sam De Silva and the crowd rising in that wonderful innings, an innings of great character and skill. Well, that's a fine shot by De Silva. He's played it very late so that he could get the placement right and no chance for Ganguly to stop that one. time he's got the short ball and doesn't waste the opportunity he was trying to hit it a bit squarer I think he wanted to hit it more towards mid wicket the ball just coming on to him a bit quicker or perhaps not bouncing as high as he expected and therefore he got it a little bit lower on the bat than he was looking for and it went straighter but still through the gap and all the way to the boundary There's a nick and he's gone, caught behind, so the, the ploy worked. Aravinda was trying to find a gap that he could push the ball into and a wider swinging delivery. And Mahanti has outthought the experienced Aravinda and picked up a very important wicket. This is a terrific piece of bowling. Just got enough, just went away enough, and uh, Mahanti really has bowled well. He deserved that. Just a little hint of a way swing, and you can see he's absolutely delighted. So Sri Lanka lose the eighth wicket, 322 for eight. <laughs> 